Hello everyone, good morning, happy Friday. Hello teacher. Good morning. Hello teacher. Can you believe we've completed week 14? We've almost completed the semester, almost only two weeks left. Can you believe it? Time flies when you're having fun, right? You guys having fun? Yes. Of course. Um, so today, what I'd like to do is do our speaking activity um, and, and then give you the rest of today in class to complete the roundtable and or complete your podcast for this week. I've shared a link to the roundtable in Notion that summarizes what we've talked about this week. And I would pay close attention where it says here, the roundtable discussion, where there's a list of things to, to think about. Uh, the roundtable discussion uh, I have here should be should be uh, should last about 15 minutes. I'm thinking 15 to 20 minutes. If it goes longer, that's fine, right? That's that's perfectly fine if if it goes longer. But try to have try to speak at least 15 minutes total for the entire roundtable discussion. All right, and uh, of course, I'll, after we finish the speaking activity, I'll be online to answer any questions that you have. So we've we've spent a lot of time this week really thinking about those questions and how to work to get more specific to those questions, making sure they're reflective, making sure that we're talking about a specific behavior in each question, and making sure that each question also mentions a specific technology, right? So a platform, an app, right? Um, you know, a website, an online dictionary, right? Those are the things that we want to try to include in each question so that when you're talking and discussing openly in your round table that uh, you are speaking specifically about, about the question, right? That you're Talking very specifically about a reflection about how you um, how you interpret and how you feel about your experiences using technology so far in in this semester in prope, right? So it's very specific to that that topic. So we want to make sure that we're we stay on topic, but we also want to make sure that it's conversational. So when someone answers a question and someone else wants to add to that, right? It's not just one person answers one question and then you go on. It's an open discussion where everyone has uh, an opinion, everyone has the right to contribute to the conversation. We just want to make sure that everyone contributes, that everyone speaks more or less the same. So make sure that if one of your teammates is not uh, participating enough to encourage them to ask them specifically, right? So you're going to be able to ask a certain teammate to answer a specific question, but there's nothing wrong with saying, well, hey, what do you think about about this question, right? If if someone is not, uh, you know, is not participating enough, right? To to make sure that again, everyone has a voice in this roundtable. That is what. In essence, that is what a roundtable event is is about, is that everyone is f informally speaking about a particular topic. All right, so um, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and start our speaking activity. So again, we have some uh, we have enough time to uh, finish our roundtable and our podcast. And let's get make sure I get my stuff here set up. All right, so I'm going to read the question twice as I as I do, and you're encouraged to take notes, right? Take notes to prepare for a response. Remember that you're given one minute to respond, so make sure that you take up the entire one minute. Right? It's very important that you have enough to talk about 
for one minute. This really is just an exercise and if you can speak about a particular topic for one minute. Right, so really try to use up that entire one minute in your response as, as we've done in the past. All right, my friends. Let's do this. Here is the speaking prompt for today. Three kinds of activities will be offered on a special day organized by the International Student Office. Which one do you prefer? Number one, International Food Fair. Number two, International Music Festival. Number three, International Film Festival. Okay, I'll read the prompt one more time. Three kinds of activities will be offered on a special day organized by the International Student Office. Which one do you prefer? Number one, International Food Fair. Number two, International Music Festival. Number three, International Film Festival. Okay, you have one minute before, we, uh, before I begin calling at random. Uh, for responses. Okay, before we begin, I forgot to ask, I'm going to try this again. It didn't work last time. I'm going to ask everyone to raise your hand. I've noticed some of you have already done that. Uh, hopefully, the technology gods will be with us today. All right, I'm seeing hands raised. Awesome. So please raise your hand at this time. As before, when we finish, uh, it's not necessary to stay in the... In the class, if you want to begin working either on the roundtable activity or your podcast, I would recommend that you do that. It's not necessary to stay in the class. We will reconvene. We're going to conclude today's class a little bit early at 930. We'll have our closing remarks. So if you do leave, um, I will post when we finish the speaking activity, and I will also ask you to come back at 9.30 for any closing remarks and closing questions, or if, any, if you have any questions uh, at the end. So please raise your hand at this time. Alondra, if you could, please. Monse, I don't know if you have raised your hand, and I just don't see it, uh, but please try to raise your hand, and let's begin. Okay, uh, Erica, you're up. Erica, would you like to provide a response? Erica, can you hear me? Would you like to provide a response, Erica? All right, let's go to the next one, Estefana. Teacher. Yes. Erica, send me a message and he says that her laptop is failing. Ah, okay. Well, we'll uh, we'll come back to Erica. Hopefully, she can get online. If you could send her a message, if she can get on with her phone, also, if that works, 
Okay. And maybe uh, suggest that. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know, Diana. Okay, Estefana, would you like to provide a response? Stefana, would you like to provide a response? Go ahead. Stefana? All right, we'll come back to Stefana. Paulina? Paulina, would you like to provide a response? Is anybody out there? Feels like Friday the 13th, but it's Friday the 27th. Paulina, would you like to provide a response? All right, let's move on. Lisette, would you like to provide a response? Can you hear me, teacher? I can hear you. Go right ahead. Uh, I would prefer to an international food bird for three reasons. Uh, the first is that the food is a way of bringing people together and living together in a very pleasant way. The second is that food causes happiness and most people feel happy when they eat. And the third uh, because food has two senses, signs and, well, see and, and when you eat the centipede, I think it is very interesting to know dishes from different places. I finished teacher. All right. Thank you very much, Lisette. Next up, Maria Fernanda. Maria Fernanda, would you like to provide a response? Maria Fernanda, going once, going twice. All right, next up, Maria Jacqueline. Maria Jacqueline, would you like to provide a response? Must be having some uh, major problems here. Yeah. Mm, I can't repeat the question. Would you like to provide a response? I am not prepared. All right. Let's go to the next. Uh, Mirna. Would you like to pro provide a response? Yes, yeah, you can hear me, teacher. Yes, I can. Okay. Well, the truth will very it's very difficult to me to choose because I I really like the films, the music and the food, but I think I will choose the music festival because well, I think I will enjoy it a lot and I think they are they are the events with which you live more with another people and you were well, the places where you have fun and you can meet more people with the same tastes and live with others. And I think that festivals are so funny and very interesting. And it's the events that you can enjoy a lot. And maybe you can't get bored about that. And um, I don't know, I think 
that it's very okay specific. great it's thank you specific. thank you mirna <laughs> you're welcome chair teacher yes chair yes i'm maria Fernanda. my microphone was not working oh uh, okay would you like to provide a response yes all right go right ahead uh well, I think that I will prefer a musical fest well, a film festival because well, I actually like a lot to to watch movies and and well that that things and listen to music and all the things because I think that uh, I can have a, such a good time more than eating, you know? Because I think that eating is like something more private i think so i don't like to watch people eating so <laughs> i think that i will go to a film or musical festival because i can i can watch a lot of <clears throat> different things and yeah i liked more too i i will enjoy more that things and that's it all right, thank you, Fernanda. Next up, Alondra. Oh, can you hear me, teacher? Yes, I can. Okay, I prefer the music festival because I like to to have fun and now um, all kinds of music and meet new people in this festival. And the music relax me. All right, thank you, Alondra. Next up, Fernando. Yes, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, well, uh, I would prefer the International Music Festival because I really love music, uh, many kinds of music. So I think that to attend a festival like this uh, would be very amazing because I could be singing, dancing, and all those those things. So I think that most of my classmates or friends as like it, so it would be very amazing and cool. And this could be like a big concert. And also we will have uh, the opportunity to see or to know like the musical tastes or culture, no, musical tastes of other people, of other classmates. And I imagine this as a colorful festival uh, full of students, full of energy, fun. And so this is what I would like the most. And I think that this will make me feel very, very happy. All right. Uh, thank you, Fernando. Next up, Ponce. Can you hear me, teacher? Yes, I can. Okay, so I would prefer, well, I would choose uh, the International Movie Festival because I really enjoy watching movies. I also like to listen to music, but I, I am feeling like they're going to play like any kind of music and I don't really like any kind of music. So I prefer to watch any kind of movies because I know that even if I'm not going to be like too much interested on some kind, I know that's like history, culture, and that is going to help me like to know more about maybe other countries or different like kind of actors. So I think I would enjoy more by like, watching movies. And I know that I also can meet more people because I know they're going to be other people interested on that festival. So that's why I 
prefer like the movie, the international movie. Um, all right, thank you, Monse. All. all right, thank you. Uh, next up, Leo. Leo, you're up. Would you like to provide a response? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, go ahead. Uh, well, I think I choose the International Music Festival because since I was a child, I really like everything that details about the music. For example, um, I enter a music arts club and I learn a little to play piano, the violin, and sing. So I think this will be a good idea to participate in a music festival. And it will be fun and spend enjoy a few days in Paris concert. And more if it is uh, my liking and what's the reason why I choose the festival is because people in general happy listening to the music and have it a good time with the friends and family apart from the fact that they, they could be to more things while listening to the background music and like dancing, eating or having a drink. For that and many reasons, I prefer International Music Festival. And yeah, it's all. All right, thank you, Leo. Right, thank you, Leo. You're welcome. Next up, uh, Next Maria up, Jose. Maria. Yes, okay, go ahead. Can you hear me, yes, I can. Yeah. Mm, well, first of all, I love music. So for this reason, I actually I'm going to choose a um, musical festival because when I well in the past uh, I used to go to all of the concerts, so it's the best and um, the feeling, dancing, singing with the artists. And I love the music, and, and I love all the types of music. So for this reason, I choose the, the festival. And also in this festival, we can choose the, sorry, we can know uh, a lot of people. And well, I think in the, in the, in the, um, All right, thank you, Maria Jose. Next up. Future. Okay, thank you, Maria. Uh, next up, uh, Ellie. Elizabeth, you're up. Yes, teacher. Do you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, well, I think that um, in well going to a, mu a music festival or a film festival, I think that it will be of the band. If in the music festival, it will be like an artist that well that of my taste or that that I like, and that will be performing. So I think that will be depending on that, and it's if it's not that the case. Well, I'll be going to the film festival because, well, in the in a lot of film festivals, there are like chances to see like some special material of a new movie that will be realized um, soon or I don't know that is like promising to be like the best of the year or something. Yeah. So I think that it will all depends. All right, thank you, Ellie. Next up, Sigrid. Um, well, I I prefer the the, uh, the food festival because uh, I find I find it very interesting to taste uh, food from uh, other different places. Uh, 
in one place in that festival. So <clears throat> you can get uh, to know part of the culture of other parts of the world. Um, it will be very interesting because the food uh, of a place Maybe it's uh, completely different from the food uh, where you live. And I also, well, I think I also prefer this because maybe if you, if you search uh, on the internet, I don't know, for music or for movies, uh, you can find it. But... All right. Great. Thank you, Sigrid. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, next up, Daira. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. Um, I think that I will choose music festivals because I love um, listen to music and I really enjoy it. So I think it makes me feel happy and makes me dance sometimes. So I think it, it can be um, very funny, you know, like enjoy um, music with your friends and especially if the festival is about my favorite singer or group, <laughs> I think I really enjoy it. And I think that many people enjoy listening to music and dancing. Um, well, many people doesn't like it, but um, listen to music, I think, yes. And I enjoy more listening to music and, okay, I think that it's for that food fair and that film festival because. All UK... right. Thank you, Dai. You're welcome. Next up, Carlos. Sorry, teacher. Did you say my name? Yes, I did. Carlos, go right ahead. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I really like all genre, genres of, of movies. So then that's the reason because I re I chose I chose International Film Festival. Why? Because I think it's a great idea. Uh, it's a great idea to know what kind of movies uh, some people like, and also you can you can you can know what kind of music. Uh, what kind of music <clears throat> your classmates or friends or what else like and at the same time uh, for example if the movie have in the movie is back to the future or Godzilla and someone say oh I really like that soundtrack it's interesting oh yeah yeah really <laughs> it's a jazz band a rock and roll band or pop band I I think it's an interesting idea. Okay. Um, thank you, Carlos. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Uh, Nancy, you're up. Can you hear me, teacher? Yes, I can. Um, I prefer music festival uh, because, um, well, I like all uh kinds of music um i like listening music um uh, i feel that i will be very happy and comfortable um and besides that uh thinking about going one day with my friends uh also sounds good and uh, it can be one of the best experience. Uh, I think that I can also meet new people there and have experience. Um, <laughs> have experience. I, I don't know how to say inevitable. Okay, but... great. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Erica has joined us. Erica, would you like to provide a response? Yes, if you can you hear me? Yes, I can. Go right ahead. Okay. 
Um, I would prefer the music festival because it's one of the things that I love the most in my life. And I literally spend almost all day listening to music. And I really enjoy any type of music. So in my opinion, music festivals are the spaces ideal for meeting new music. And you can meet people with the same tastes as you. And it's also a good option to enjoy the company of your friends. And I would have a great time dancing and singing. So music festivals would be a good idea to create a unique moment because well for me music is something that you can that can transmit many emotions. So I think it's an experience that personally I would Enjoy All right. Thank you, Erica. Uh, next up, Nydeline. You're up. Yes, teacher. Um, I prefer the music festival because I like music a lot and up there you can have a good time. Um, be listening to music and at the same time time it with your friends or with the people you are. I feel that in that festival, there is more way to live than in others. I feel hmm, that you do not like live as much as in this one, but until you can be enjoy everything. I like with the people you are a music festival can um uh can have many emo when uh emotions uh it's fun you enjoy music and company a lot um okay great thank you Nadeline. thank you uh thank next you. up nelly mm. I think I prefer a musical festival because throughout music, we know about culture and I think it's the best way to know it. I like the different sound of the instrument have depending on the country, like the pipeline from Scotland or the gookin, a Chinese instrument. And I think the music can help you to learn about the history of a particular country like the reggae that represents a 90s movement in Jamaica. Another point for uh, choose musical festival is that I enjoy listening to music uh, about differ different countries and I also enjoy watching performance. And finally, I design musical because Mm. The musical festivals are fun, colorful, and they are All right, thank you, Nelly. Next up, Jesus. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, so I would prefer the films festival because I think that fest the films are better than the other two topics and. I think that it's more interesting because films involve a lot of different arts and I'm really fond of art and films involve music, literature, even paintings, well, because it has a lot of relation with the position of the camera and the composition of the image. And films are the best way to express art because art is about give a message in a beautiful way and films, when they are doing in the right way, you can even change the lives of a lot of people. And well, the other festivals aren't as good because full food is something good, but well, it in the end it won't let you anything. And and the music festival, it's all right. Good Thank too, you. But, Thank you, uh, Jesus. Okay. Thank you. Uh, next up, jazz. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can. 
Okay. Um, I always like uh, food festivals, so I'm going to choose that one today. And what I like about that kinds of festivals is that you can taste and see different types of food. Um, you know, there are always like little samples of food. Uh, so you have the opportunity uh, to try new food or new recipes or also uh, meet new people. You can also go with your friends and have a good time watching the variety of food and culture and colors also. <laughs> and well, you know, everybody likes food, so you will have a nice day there, a yes or yes, even if you go alone. And well, it's always nice to try like new things sometimes. Okay, thank you, Jess. Thank you. Next up, Dana. I'm Katie. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, I chose the musical festival because I think that everyone likes some kind of music. And I think it will be a very fun way to give uh, people entertainment. Mm. And I think um, everyone will enjoy it a lot uh, because people can choose between singing songs or dancing songs. And I also think that if you uh, in turn someone very happy dancing or singing uh, one song, gets you like um, infected with their uh, vibes and enjoy singing in it maybe you try to do it i think okay that music festival... great thank you dana okay next up alexia yes teacher so um, I would prefer the music festival uh, because normally I listen to almost everyday music in activities like doing homework, cleaning, or other stuff. And also I like so much the like the sound of the instruments and more in life. It sounds really, really good. And for me, it would be interesting like to go to an international music festival because here I can know like different types of music and also I can have fun and like discover new type of music. And for me, it would be interesting and fun for me because in that places, it's like happiness. I really like that places and more like international to discover. And that's all. All right. Thank you, Alexia. You're welcome. Next up, Adan. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Oh, I, I would prefer the International Food Festival because uh, I love eating and, and everyone loves eating and also uh, when you go off, when you go to a festival and you uh, and when you see the name of the flag or or when you see the flag or the country, uh, you may get you may get astonished because maybe probably uh, you uh, that's the first time you uh, that you see the uh, the food of that country and also I think. Uh, every food is special because all of them are delicious um, and all people show you the culture or the history of that country. So probably in some years uh, in the past, they taste that, that food. Uh, also, the food shows you how a country is. How okay, is thank you. Thank you, Adan. Thank you, Adan. Yeah, you're welcome. Next up, uh, Vanessa. Yes, here. Go ahead. Well, 
I think that it's something difficult to choose because they all call me attention. But I think I would prefer the International Music Festival because I really like to listen to music since it is something that relaxes me a lot because I think that music is something that connects me with many things and that his lyrics also have things that I can identify with and that is why I, I think I will choose that as it is one of my favorite activities and it is something that I enjoy doing in my free time and I think that's all. Okay, thank you, Vanessa. Next up, Diana. I would prefer the International Music Festival because I think that it will be more dynamic because everyone likes the music and I really enjoy listening to music. Also, the lyrics, the writing, and the events will be very fun. And I could go there with my friends and uh, the other persons too and maybe there will be famous bands and artists and it will be an unforgettable experience that I will really enjoy so much and I think you will feel very positive environment happiness and motivation and also you can new, know new people and because that always is good Okay, thank you, Diana. Next up, Maria de la Cruz. Yes, uh, the International Food Festival sounds interesting because we all like food, but I think the International Music Festival will be much more fun. It will be more in interesting and it will be easier to be able to all live together mm, because us we all like music and we could enjoy much more so I prefer the International Music Festival that's all Okay, thank you, Maria. Next up, Fatima. Yes, uh, can you hear me, teacher? Yes, I can. Okay, well, I would prefer the film festival because I love movies a lot. I really enjoy them. I think this also would be like different to do a great experience because all kind of films to see um, on this festival. I will enjoy it more and also I think I would meet like people who also enjoy films and it would be um, great to know what kind of genres they go more to. I think it would be fun this festival and I will have a great time and also very interesting because all kind of films of movies okay thank you Fatima next up Luis Enrique I prefer to choose a festival of food because it can be more interesting and curious 
to taste so many different kinds of food. And also, I prefer to choose a festival film because I can see so many in different movies from different art. And I, it can be enjoying with your family and having fun with them. All right, thank you, Luis. Next up, Yaisha. Uh, so I think I prefer the music festival because uh, I think it will be more funnier and that you can enjoy also while you're having fun with whoever you are right now. Well, in the festival, you can listen to music and I am really someone who's, who listens to any kind of music. So this is why I prefer the festival. Um, and when you choose the, for example, the food festival, you're just, I think you're just eating and, and just walking around, but not in the, <clears throat> in the music festival because you're having fun and you're listening to music. So that's why I choose this, um, the music festival. And that's all. All right, thank you, Yaisha. Next up, Monica. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. Well, um, I would like to assist an international food festival. Um, everyone loves to eat and taste uh, different dishes and cocktails. Um, it's like a big ple pleasure of the life. Um, I prefer this because uh, you can learn about the flavor, uh, specific ingredients and different uh, kind of techniques that you can use dishes because the gastronomy has several variations also, you can learn um, about the history of that food. Um, I don't know, I like to learn details about how two people often prepare those dishes, uh, in what kind of celebrations they like to eat. Um, other thing that I love of them, uh, um, Festivals are the participation of the international chefs. All right, thank you, I Monica. Thank you. All right, next up, uh, Gabby. You're up. Okay, yay, finally. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Sorry, I'm dying. Um, I think I would prefer uh, the music festival because I uh, I like the, the music for, um, from, for example, China. I like the instrumental Chinese music. I like the French music as well. I like the South Korean music, obviously. <laughs> um, well, uh, I I I was like so um, well. I don't know how to say it. I didn't know what to choose because I like eating. I I like listening to music, and I like watching films. So I was like, oh God, I know what I do. Ah. <coughs> uh, Sorry. Um, well, thank. Yes, I. Um, I think we can uh, hear a lot of music, and I. I love it. I don't. I don't know. I. I love the music. Uh, it. It has always been like that. And yes, uh, if I could choose. Um, okay. Well, first of all, thank you. Um, thank you, oh, Gabby. Thank you. Next up, Andrea. I'm here. Okay, okay, go ahead. Uh, well, I prefer the International Musical Festival because I like music a lot. And also I feel that with this kind of festival, you have 
the opportunity to um, meet new genres or new talents, bands, groups. And at the same time, I think that we have the opportunity to meet new cultures because I think that everything can be expressed with culture, with music, sorry. And I think that is one of the, es the easiest ways to share culture or I think also traditions and you can um, also meet more people and share the different tastes of music that maybe we have because we all are different and I think that music does good to people and in my case it may all be right good thank you mood. Andrea yeah thank you next up Alonso Um, yes, teacher, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Um, well, um, I don't live in, in music festivals, so I think I especially prefer this one because sincerely are the festivals that it, at the moment I enjoy it most and I feel like um, they are beyond musical proposals and like they are special moments with the music. <laughs> and smile, smiles and unique experience with people. Also, of course, the music can transport you and make any moment in a special one. And but also, I like the idea of knowing another festivals for experience. And for example, I think in this in this moment, probably my second option is the food festival because I am very hungry. And well, and it feels like how Hego say from the movie Ratatouille, and it's like I don't like All the food. Right. I love. Thank it. you, thank you, Alonso. Thank you, teacher. All right next up, uh, Tanya. Tanya, you're up. Would you like to provide a response? Make sure your mic is unmuted. Tanya, would you like to provide a response? All right. Stay here. Stay here. Yes. Stay here. I'm go here. Okay, go ahead. I was in the kitchen, sorry. Okay. Um, I would like to go to a musical festival because um, all my life uh, the music has um, has have a very like a great value in my life. Since I was a child, uh, I listen to music. My my family, um, my family um, sing, um, play instruments. So the the music is in is in me in myself. So um, I have experimented with when I hear a good music, like I feel um, a lot of emotion is in, in me. So I think it will be great to be in a great uh, big festival of music. Um, I like it too much, the idea and. I would be very excited to be there. Um, All right, thank you. Thank you, right. thank you, thank you. Uh, Susie, you're up. Yes, teacher. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. Um, I didn't know which to choose if music or film festival because I enjoy uh, both activities, but I decide to choose a uh, film festival. Because watch movies is one of my favorite hobbies. I really enjoy all kinds of I, sorry of movies, and I think uh, here I can discover in uh, new kinds of movies and maybe of different cultures or countries, and also a very talented actors. So I can choose a lot of new movies and new options next time that I want to, to watch a movie. 
And also, I remember uh, the question says that this festival will be take place at school. So um, I think it is a good opportunity to have a great time with my friends or maybe with my family, teachers, I don't know. All um, right. That's because... Thank you. Uh, Thank you, Susie. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. To right. Uh, Paulina, would you like to provide a response? Yes. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Um, well, if I have to choose, I would like to choose the music festival because I think that there I can... Well, I prefer like uh, electronic music, but if it's like uh, with a lot of different music, I would like to go just to know or to discover new new type of to, new type. And also, I would like to go to a food festival because, well, I think that everybody likes food, <laughs> and. Well, if I can try a lot of types of food, it would be, well, interesting, and that's all. <laughs> okay, thank you, Paulina. Estefana, would you like to provide a response? Me? Yes, I can. Go ahead. Um, I would like to go to music. First of all, where they play piano. Or violin. Will be a nice experience. Mm. I have never heard the piano, live or the violin. Okay, thank you, Stefana. Um, I don't know, Maria, Jacqueline, if you want to provide a response. Yes. Go ahead. Um, well, I prefer a music festival because uh, I think, well, I love listening music and I think the people, the people enjoy enjoy them and i think the people and the yes the people will enjoy it a lot but i will also like um, i prefer also a food festival because i feel that i will be very interesting to see i don't know for example a great variety of, of foods and to be able to enjoy them. I think it will be an incredible experience because when you when you are in this festival, you feel very happy. All right, thank and, you, Jacqueline. I think that's yes. everyone. So I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic. We will reconvene. We will come back to class at 9.30 instead of 9.40, a little bit earlier today. At 9.30, we'll reconvene to close the, 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 the class and to answer any final questions that you have. Okay, teacher. Thank you. All right, my friends, it's 9.30. I, want to, I need to end a few minutes earlier to, today. So just to conclude, to give you some feedback about your responses today during your speaking activity, remember when you're given choices, right? In this case, you were asked to choose between what a food festival, music festival, art festival, choose one thing. 
and try to avoid uh, saying things, well, it was a difficult decision and I was, I like both. I really like this and I like both of these or try not to speak about more than one thing. When you're given one, you know, a choice, right? To choose like which is better, right? Or what do you prefer? Stick to one. Even if you're conflicted mentally and you're really, you know, you're not sure, just choose one, right? Because it's more about how you provide the response than it is the true nature of what you're saying, right? Um, so again, focus on one thing. And what I really liked, uh, I think it was Lisette, her, her, the, she started her response by saying something like, uh, three reasons. Like, uh, these are three reasons why I chose, and I don't recall, maybe it was the music festival or something or food festival, but for three reasons, right? And then she said, number one, number two, number three. I highly recommend that you do that. And maybe you choose two reasons. Maybe you choose four reasons, right? Probably no more than four. But you are very specific. And in your notes, you probably have those reasons or ways that you want to describe. In your notes, try to provide more details. When you speak less than a minute, then you know you need more information in your in your notes, right? More details, more examples that you can draw from, that you can remember, that you can talk about at, in that particular subject. So you'll notice, and it probably feels uncomfortable when, if you start, if you stop early and I, I wait, right? And I, I do this intentionally because I want you to feel the time that is still uh, allowed for you to speak. Like how much more time should you be speaking? That is that silence that that I'm providing, right? So that you can feel kind of what it's going to take to try to be able to speak for one minute. That's the whole purpose of these speaking activities is for you to try to speak for one minute in an organized way about a particular topic. And so we're going to have a couple of more of these speaking activities and it's more the same as how do I organize my ideas? How do I prepare myself to speak about a topic for one minute? Remember the question words. Anytime you're asked to speak about something and you're like, well, what can I talk about, right, for that? Like music festival, what can I say about it? Well, I can say about what I would like to see or what a music festival uh, has or contains or involves. I can talk about how to form a music festival, for example, I can talk about which groups I would like or which kind of music I would like to include in a music festival. I would like, I can say why a music festival is important to not only myself, but other people. I could talk about where, say something about where, uh, about where I should put or, you know, where a, a music festival is best served. So, Think of the question words when you're also preparing for these responses, right? Again, we should be able to speak about a particular topic for at least one minute. Right? So um, keep that in mind. Another thing I'll mention here, uh, be careful with the words funny and fun. Funny and fun. Someone can be funny. Someone can be fun. Of An event can be fun. And you could say an event is funny, but they're not synonymous. They have different meanings. What's the difference between fun and funny? What do you think? Any ideas? Think about the two differences. We'll talk about it on Monday. I want you to think about it. Ask some of your other teachers. Ask some friends. Think about the differences between funny and fun. And for those of you who used the word either fun or funny, funny or fun, go back and listen to the recording today and see how you used fun or funny to see if you used it correctly. If you are 
If you agree with the way that you used the word funny and funny, be very careful with those two. They're a little bit different. They're not uh, the same adjectives. They actually have different meanings. So be careful with that. But I want you, <clears throat> I'd like for you guys to look and investigate that those differences between those two words and what they and what they mean. All right. So uh, finally, make sure you try to finish your round table. Try to uh, record it. Activate your videos so we can see your faces. Make sure everybody talks equally. Really form good questions. And I'm going to be looking forward to seeing your response. This is uh, These are uh, some videos that I would like to share with all of the, well, the, the other teachers in Prope, right, as a form of feedback to us, your teachers, for the semester. This will be very helpful, but we want it to be constructive, respectful, productive, honest, right, detailed, specific, suggestive, like you can suggest things as well. Right? These are all things that you can think about when you're producing your roundtable. All right, any questions, guys, about the roundtable activity or anything else? No. All right, well, I hope you guys have a really good weekend. We'll come back on Monday. Uh, we'll talk about... Yes? Did you have a question? Sorry, did you have a question? I'm not sure if that was Adan or Adan's dog. Maybe his dog. Do you have a dog, Adan? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the not dog. Sure. I, I, have, I have my microphone off, so I don't know. Oh, okay. Sorry. I thought it was you. Somebody, Someone's no dog had a question. All right. Well, um, all right, guys. We'll stop there for today. Uh, have a good weekend. We'll come back on Monday. We're going to... Uh, complete the next two weeks. We'll, I'll talk about it on Monday, uh, what, we're, what we'll be doing, but we're going to be focusing a lot on our portfolio. So make sure that you have your portfolio. You've shared your link in Notion. I will talk more about it on Monday, uh, what we're going to do with our portfolios for the last two weeks of class. All right, guys, thanks. Have a good day. Have a good weekend, and I'll see you guys on Monday. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye, teacher.